Will County is the largest inland port in North America, which means then that we handle a multitude of freight through this area. Over the road, we have waterways and we have high-speed rail. So a freight mobility plan is absolutely vital for us. We need to manage the way that freight moves through the area in a way that supports that movement, but that is also supportive of our residents. It was important to look at how we balance the residents' lives because they're the ones that are raising their families, that are living in these communities who have these major developments nearby, and a road that used to be not as well or as traffic congested now has trucks and freight moving through there, and it's, they've got to coexist. For the freight plan, what CDM Smith was tasked with doing was to identify key freight projects that would improve freight mobility in the county. What we also needed to do was protect key environmental natural resources, improve quality of life for the community, and bring together a really diverse set of stakeholders. So we used a large number of data sources as well as a large amount of public and stakeholder input to really establish a story of freight in Will County. We had to have data sets on the economic value of the freight and what's being actually transported. Over 3 million containers flow through the port annually. That's 623 billion in freight value or 3.5% of the U.S. gross domestic product. 55% of Will County's economy is freight-related businesses. So when we talk about supporting the freight environment, we're also talking about supporting jobs. What we did was build a coalition of freight businesses here in Will County. We brought them to the table to talk about what their key workforce issues were and ways to provide better mobility and access to these jobs for Will County's residents. Well, we built safety hotspot maps that clearly showed to all of the stakeholders, here are where your major safety issues for truck and for commercial vehicles are. Then we use the geographic information system data as a prioritization tool. So projects gain scores by addressing some of those issues. I think that having that data and that story to tell is hugely useful. Now we can say we've got it quantified, we can justify it. What I'm most proud of is that the county can use this plan as a roadmap for improving freight mobility in the future. They can use the recommendations that we identified in the plan and start implementing implementing them, which they are already doing today. CDM Smith brought new ideas and best practices to the table and gave us a menu of options of things we could consider. The county didn't want a plan that was going to be on the shelf. They wanted an actionable plan and we worked with CDM Smith to make an actionable plan. 